This is going to seriously boost your vulnerability management game. If you have tackled vulnerability management in OT, chances are you ended up in frustration. It is virtually impossible to keep up with the constant stream of new vulnerabilities. Why? Because in OT, you are faced with a huge cost for installing security patches and firmware updates. In the vast majority of scenarios, you can't simply patch or update automatically because patches must be tested and systems cannot be taken offline and rebooted just like in IT. The bottom line is that for the average OT asset owner, known vulnerabilities just keep mounting. The best practice to deal with this state of affairs is prioritization. If you have no chance to mitigate all vulnerabilities, why not at least try to fix the worst ones? There are various angles how you can approach this. CVE severity, network exposure and device criticality are all good criteria when furnishing your prioritization strategy and they have been discussed at length in a talk at the S4 conference that is linked in the description below. I think nobody in this audience is actually thinking that they could patch all the vulnerabilities. We are past that. Trust me, you can't. It's just too much. It won't happen. So, but we are beyond that. So the question is, what gives me uh, the most protection level for the, the stuff that I can do? Right. But what I expect to happen is the following. Once that people are starting to use this process, they start to take in context, criticality and exposure. They are seeing uh, some, some metrics that make sense. Then they will realize and they will be able to communicate to management, you know what, now we are actually go getting somewhere, which presently is not the case. Now, here is the bad news. Network exposure and device criticality are difficult to measure and therefore rarely used. CVE severity is different because it already comes with a CVE. Therefore, most asset owners revert to only consider critical CVEs. Not a good idea because in OT you can have CVEs with a base score of 10 that are not rated as critical. If there only was a simple way to fix this. And actually there is. Enter exploitability, meaning how easy or difficult it is to use a given vulnerability in an attack. When it comes to exploitability, not all CVEs are equal. CVEs that have already been exploited pose a far higher risk because potential attackers don't need to implement exploit code on their own. They can simply reuse existing code that can often be found on the internet or on the dark web. Therefore, your known exploited vulnerabilities pose a higher risk than others. Why not use this to our advantage? If we exclude all the CVEs from our scope for which no known exploits exist, the result set that we have to deal with becomes much smaller. And here's the best thing. Technically, this is easy now since CISA publishes so-called KEVs or known exploited vulnerabilities for download. Today, exploitability is just another easy to grab data point as CVE severity. In the OT based OT asset management software, we download KEV data automatically from CISA and match it against your installed base. The result is absolutely striking. Look at this table from the CVE workflow in OT base. It lists all the CVEs that affect the hardware and software in our sample database, which reflects a typical OT infrastructure with round about 10,000 devices. A total of 16,618 CVEs. Now we simply check the box KEV only, and the result set shrinks to a mere 226 CVEs. 226 CVEs, that's an actionable result set. Let's analyze our results more closely. Assume that as part of our prioritization effort, we want to focus on vulnerabilities with a CVSS base score higher than 9. This leaves us with a result set of 3697 CVEs. 
if we ignore CVEs without known exploits, we are left with 57 CVEs. But wait, many of them have already been mitigated for our installed base. Let's ignore these by filtering for vulnerabilities with one or more vulnerable devices. That leaves us with just 36 CVEs. KEVs are also exposed by OTBase when you examine the known vulnerabilities for individual devices and software products. In the device profile of a given device, vulnerability categories that include KEVs are highlighted in orange and the KEVs themselves are easy to identify because they are also highlighted. Same for software products where you can also quickly see which CVEs are already exploited. Here's the bottom line. Vulnerability management has just gotten much more punch thanks to CISA publishing easy-to-use KEV data. Use this to your advantage with the OTBase OT Asset Management System. To learn more about OTBase, please check out otbase.com.